17 of them. Well, I mean, it, it is quite cheeky, but I mean, it's not, I wouldn't have thought it was strong enough to be banned, really. No, exactly, it's not exactly. And the message cool, is pretty is clear. I mean, it's all up there for everyone to see at the end, isn't it? It's true. I, I feel kind of embarrassed about all the publicity because I think it's kind of, it makes it makes people um, ready for something a lot raunchier and I didn't try and do something that was going to get banned. I really tried to make this as close to the, to the, um, to the, you know, I, I tried to get it real borderline um, and again, the only thing I wasn't sure about was Top of the Pops but I think it really is, is we actually had it looked at by the British Film Board and uh, they gave it a 15 rating, which makes quite a mockery of this whole thing. So it's been banned from TV, yeah. yeah. Do you, I mean, AIDS has now prompted people to start examining relationships a bit more yeah. closely, perhaps, than they did before. Monogamy now is, is fairly hip, isn't it? I mean, would you have written a song praising monogamy if it wasn't for AIDS, do you think? I don't know. It didn't really occur to me before. Um, I probably wouldn't have introduced the, the, the idea of monogamy into the, into the video and the record uh, a year ago because uh, I wouldn't have seen it as a necessity and I've always thought that as a, a personal, it's just a personal point of view. How frightened are you personally by AIDS? Have, have you actually had an AIDS test? No, I haven't, no. Would I you mean, have I'm, one? I think I'd have one if I had been, uh, I, would, I, would, I think it's fairly safe to say that the period, period in which I was, let's say, unselective, um, it was, it was uh, a long way back and it was in London at a time when I don't think it, would, it was anything, it's not really a, a genuine threat. If I had been in that same period of time, because I was, I mean, I remember actually, to be perfectly honest, when I first went to New York, I was terrified of herpes. Yeah. I remember coming home. Um, herpes seemed quite friendly now, didn't it? It does, doesn't it? It's a bit like, uh, it's a bit like uh, you know, having flu or something. Yeah. Because you've got a cold now, haven't you? Because got, I didn't actually use that to introduce the It was a good link in there. It was a good link I just thought your voice was sexy today. Yeah, yeah I know. My voice is very deep today. It's because I have a cold. It's not because I'm, I'm trying to play up this macho image, you know. Um, but, no, I was, I was terrified of herpes. I remember coming back from New York. Um, I actually did go... Uh, I didn't even... My family were in the audience now. I actually went to the <laughs> doctor. I, was, I went to the doctor um, with Andrew when I came back from New York the first time because I was terrified about that. And... But even that was just from one, one stray night in New York, and I was terrified, yeah. you know. So, I, I mean, that was five years ago. I've never, um, I've never played the field in America or abroad, actually. And uh, so I'm not really worried. I, if, I, if I had been um, basically screwing around when I'd been traveling, I think I'd be, I would have had a test by now. Um, you know, I think you, you, can, you can make your own judgment as to those things. Did you used to use a condom when you were sort of unselective, or do you use one now? <sighs> <laughs> and, and what brand? Um, I don't know if I should answer that question. Uh, all right, I'll answer the question. Yes, I do. Yes. He said, yes, I do. He said, yes. I'm not ashamed of it. Well, uh, can, do you want to show me how to put one on afterwards? Actually, that? no, have you seen, have you seen <laughs> those horror, the, you know those jiffy things? Yeah. You know the jiffy They come like a cigarette, cigarette pack thing. I know, I mean, you could do without. I tell you, I mean, they're, they're, I, I think they're fun because they've made them like cigarette boxes mm. and everything. And you see people like in clubs staring at them like, you know. But the worst thing, have you seen the diagrams on the inside? No, I haven't. Look, if you ever get a jiffy thing, look at the third diagram. It's enough to put you <laughs> off. It's enough to put you off. It's disgusting. I think it worries me in the cigarette packs. I think people get them out and start rolling their own, don't they? So it's, um, <laughs> it won't lie. Let me just ask you a little bit about, about your future. You're, you're thinking of um, moving into acting, aren't you? In a few years' time. Well, I wasn't really thinking about it, no. Um, I thought you, you were hoping to go that way. I thought you well, were I mean, people pass. send me scripts of things. The latest one I've had is I've been offered uh, the, the role of a, a Greek Jewish revolutionary. <laughs> That's serious. It's the truth, you know. And um, sounds tailor made for you. It, it does, doesn't it? Really. Uh, and it could be a moderate revolutionary. Yeah. I, 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 I've not been sent anything. I've not been sent anything that, that's, that's vaguely uh, tempting yet. There are the, the kind of films that. that that I would like to be in and not the kind of films that people see me in. Everyone yeah. sees me playing something that's very kind of big budget and uh, a vehicle for my career. And I don't believe I need a vehicle for my career. I think my career has got to depend on my music. And I think um, film careers, if they're not extremely carefully planned and if they're not extremely credible, uh, can work against your musical career, even if you're making great music. And I don't want to take that risk. You know, I've got lots more music to make. Um, I've got lo uh, a a long way to go, and I don't want to hinder it by trying to do too much too soon, you know. 
23 years old. I think I can afford to wait a few years. I think you probably can as well. well listen, thanks for coming in and showing us a video, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you, George Thank Mark. Thank you. Stand by me, stand by.